The first nuclear reactor was assembled in the U.S. in 1942. Enrico Fermi, Leo Szilard, and Eugene Wigner played a key role in its development. During the decades that followed, nuclear power plants became widespread. There are currently about 200 operating in the world, with over 400 reactors. Pressurized water reactors use uranium dioxide fuel rods. Nuclear fission generates heat, which is used in the primary circuit to heat water to a temperature of nearly 300 degrees Celsius. Due to the very high pressure in this circuit, the heated water does not boil. In the heat exchanger, the generated heat is transferred to the water circulating in the secondary unit. Since the pressure is much lower here, the water boils and the resulting steam is used to rotate the turbines, the motion of which is converted into electric current by the generator. The exhaust steam is then cooled with water. Since the water in the primary and secondary circuits circulates in separate closed systems, the cooling water will not contain any radioactive particles. The reactors house a controlled chain reaction. Uranium atoms absorb neutrons and then split, releasing two or three neutrons and energy. This energy is used to heat water, while the neutrons split further nuclei. The reaction is controlled since the control rods absorb a certain quantity of neutrons. Without this, the reaction would be uncontrolled, like the process of a nuclear bomb exploding. The reaction can be accelerated by pulling the control rods outwards from the fuel assembly, and slowed down by pushing them further in. The speed of neutrons is reduced through the use of a moderator. This is necessary because slow neutrons are more likely to cause further nuclear fission of uranium atoms and thereby sustain a chain reaction. In pressurized water reactors, water also serves as a moderator. In the event of a malfunction, modern reactors use negative feedback mechanisms to automatically shut themselves down.